Hey, the Fat Guy Flies RC. How y'all doing? Coming to you from the main cave. We got, we just did the unboxing of the free wing of Bonte 2. So now we're going to put her together. Now, like I said, you're going to require, the only, the only tool you're going to need is a 1.5 meter hex drive. Okay. And I have this little tool kit. I'll put a link. I love this tool kit. I got this on Amazon and just put it together. And I'll, sh I'll put a link in the bit video for this uh, um, tool. Now, there's two different size screws you're going to be using in this entire build. So I highly suggest you buy these little magnetic trays. So I'm going to put these two magnetic trays here. I'm going to open up my little baggie. All right. And then you're going to have a two-part bag. Okay. You've got the one that's got the little round-looking washers in it. And then you're going to have the one that had the, uh, like, uh, what do you call it? sunk heads or whatever. They have like flared up ends on them. Okay. Look like wood screws. Believe all look like wood screws. Those are going to be for your tail assembly. The four with the round, that round looks like a washer on it. Almost looks like a washer on the end of it. That's for your wing. And there's only four of them, so don't lose them. So I'm going to put them in separate magnetic trays. Okay. Now you buy these, these little magnetic trays at Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever you buy your uh, auto, any of the automotive uh, parts are going to have it. Now I don't know what this little wooden stick is for. We may, may come across that in the instructions. You do get a little glue tip. You get the glue and you get this little glue tip you could you could put on there. It doesn't have the, it doesn't been perforated. You have to cut the tip of that off. And then you've got an extra ball link clevis and an extra uh, traditional, uh, not clevis, but uh, oh, I can never what you call these things, with a hook to the control service. You get an extra ball link. I get, I'm just going to say clevis. And then you get an extra traditional one with the fuel tubing. Uh, safety keeper and, uh, just hang on to them because you never know you know you, and you, you, when you make adjustments and you screw them in and out those little treads get worn so they give you extra one extra of each of those stock throw away your trash as you work just keeps your helps keep things uh, organized oh you get two extra um did not come with a go get them wire but i have one or two free wing models in the past so I have an extra one. You've got your shelf liner that you can glue down for your battery, but me, I like using Velcro. Okay, step one is installing the wings. I'm going to skip that step because wings are big. I want to put the tail, so I'm going to put the uh, tail on first. So for that, we're going to grab our Ernst plane stand. Okay, and we're going to concentrate on the tail. Now, this end, down here where y'all can see it, okay. and your first thing you're going to do, grab your, grab your tail, okay, grab your horizontal stabilizer. Something to make your life a lot easier is go ahead and stretch out these wires, stretch them out, okay, and kind of pull them through your Pull them through your fingers like that with some tension on it. And that will help to straighten these out. Just makes your life easier. Take that go get them wire. If you don't have a go get them wire, I suggest um, a real thin gauge hanger with a, and put a hook on the end of it and fish it through. You're only talking about going from here to here. So it's not that much in the way of distance. And as I showed you in the unboxing, it's pretty much a straight shot through, so you shouldn't really have a problem. See, there's my, there's my go get them wire. I'm gonna lay this on the table. I'm gonna take both ends, and you see that little hoop there? Little hoop, you can see them get against my, okay, I'm gonna fish both of these leads through. Okay, fish both of these leads right on through there. I'll let them kind of dangle off like that. I'm going to grab the other end of that go get them wire. Okay. 
and then we're going to fish that on through. Just makes life easier. These little go good wires are just, if you, you don't throw them away. If you get one in a kit, hang on to that, cherish it, might hang on to it, whatever you do. It is a, I couldn't tell you how, how many different non free wing models and flight, flight line models that I have used that in. Okay, grab the wires, they're both laying there, pull that on through. Okay, that's going to set down in there just like that, pretty as you please. You're going to grab four of the screws that look like that. They have that. Let me see if I can. Okay, got that flat end. It is a 1.5 meter. Okay. Oh, yeah, I don't, I've got a two. Yep, that's it, that's right. All right, I'm gonna drop that down in there. Like so. size okay so maybe it's a two oh, okay it's a two two millimeter two millimeter hex transfer I wonder why I wouldn't get any grab okay I like to always support the back side of anywhere I'm screwing okay there like that grab this one and I always do I try always do everything in a crisscross type pattern And you'll feel it, it gets, it gets a very obvious bottoming out point. So I say again, it's a two millimeter hex drive. Just notice that, right? How those are already lined up. Perfect. They, they, they're improving these models out of the box so that your build and your, your experience right off the get go is promising. But they want you to have a impre good impression from the get go. Okay. Okay. All right. That's in there like that. That one didn't quite seat well. Let me take that one out. Change that screw in. See what's going on there with that one. This one might get bottomed out too quickly or something. If that makes any sense. Uh oh. It's it's just I uh, like I've stripped it. I think I was going too strong. Okay, well then let me go ahead. That's what happens. I got too tight. It'd be nice. That's nice and tight. That was nice and tight. And this one is nice and tight. But this one, I guess I was a little overzealous, and it stripped right off the bat. It started to start turning freely. So let's take it back out. And actually, it's kind of good that that happened. See, I got, I got some plastic material on the end of it. So I'm going to show you how you fix that. This, does, this is not a deal breaker. This is not a... Oh, uh, the, it's the wing, the, the elevator is not going to be on there good, strong. All I'm going to do is take a little bit of the provided glue. Okay. I'm going to put it on that screw. Okay. And we're going to just glue it in. And that will seal that breach, so to speak. All right. And I'm not going to worry about that at all. Okay. That was my fault for getting just a little too too much force. Making sure those wires are nice and laying down for the horizontal, but it's all in there good. Same thing. We're going to take the wire for our 
rudder. Gonna untwist it, hang on to them and twist. And then you're gonna grab a hold of the wire and you're gonna pull it nice and straight. Gets all the little kinks out of it. And see now it's not it's a lot straighter than it was. Fish our go get them wire back through there. There it is. I'll lay the lay it there. I'll put that through that hoop, give it a little bit of slack there, grab a hold of my wire, and then just kind of let that fish on through. And there it is. Makes life so much easier. Let that lay there. Now, pulling that wire tight, and then you're going to have connection points here, here, and then two places up front. So four, and I've got four more of them screws. Okay, paying attention to them wires as I set that out in there. I don't want them wires to get crimped, so kind of keep an eye on it. You don't want them caught in there. So make sure I don't have anything. All right, and then that should set down in there nice and tight. Get it up over that lip first, and then that'll pop down in there. Easy peasy. All right, now you got that. You should have four of them screws left. Don't go crazy. Remember, this is metal screws into a hard plastic housing, so don't go crazy like I did with that one elevator screw. Okay, make sure it's nice and flush. And once you feel that good, good resistance, stop right there. Stop right there. Okay, same thing on this side. Okay, support it. Make sure it's nice and flush. Let me hear that. You feel that nice, tight stopping point? Stop right there. Don't go any further. Okay, now the only thing left are the two fronts connections and they've got a nice hard plastic point it's obvious how they go in okay yeah like I say it has a very obvious stopping point. All right, that is in there. Okay, now we can turn our attention to the wings. Okay, always, always, always put your wings bar in. And if you look on the side, you're going to notice these little pieces of tape, all right? Look like little windows. Go ahead and grab the hole. Don't worry about the, the, this also is blocking the wing spar hole. Pull a little piece of tape away. It takes a little paint off, no big deal, it's inside the wing. Pull your ribbon out, your quick connect ribbon out. Do that, do this on both sides, okay? And more than likely, it'll have a hold you, pull your ribbons out, okay? Wings go into metal housing, screws, in a metal housing, they should have done that in the elevator and the rudder, so ding on free wing for not doing that. But when you pull the little window tape out, it exposes your hole for your wing spar. Now, if you notice, on your wings, you also have a spar. Right back in the back is where this goes. So, it's very obvious. Front wing spar is here, the rear is here, giving this wing a lot of rigidity. The wheel is going to, is going to fit down in there. You're going to line up your wing spar. Now these quick connects, you have little, little teeth on them, okay? The teeth go towards the top of the plane. They only fit one way. It's obvious how they fit. They only go the one way. You might have to finagle your back spar in there. Just a little bit. 
But once it gets lined up, feed your cable back in that little window where you took the tape away, making sure you're, you don't crimp that wire, and then just guide your wing on. It's nice and tight. Remember, a tight-fitting wing is a happy wing. All right, you're going to take one of these screws that have the little, like, little washer on the back side of them. Take your tool. Now, I'm going to assume there must be a connection on the top side because I sort of don't see a connection anywhere else. I see that one there. There's got to be one. Oh, well, I bet you it's hidden underneath that tape there. Support that with my hand on the other side. Like I say, now you're going metal into metal, so you can crank down on this. Let's see if we can find what the instructions say about... Okay, it does say there should be a... Oh, it's right here. There's a... Okay, it's right here. If you look on the front of the wing, you've got... This is opened up, however, yours... Right back here, you'll see this little indentation here. That's where your other screw is going to go. Okay, so you're going to have to open that up. Okay. And you might as well just go ahead and keep, don't worry about it because if you take these wings on and off, you're going to have to keep opening that up anyways. Has a very obvious bottoming out point. Metal, you want metal into metal so you can kind of crank down a little bit. This is hold your wing on. Okay, and that's on there. So let's turn this around. Now I've noticed that this Avanti is not as big as the original. It's not as big, it's smaller. That's fine with me. Same thing here. I'm going to line up my first wing spar. Okay, we'll get it fairly close. Line up the second wing spar. Remember these little teeth? They're, these only fit one way. You got two little teeth on them. They're gonna go towards the top of the plane or the top of the wing. That's the only way it's gonna hit, hook, hook up. It only hook, fits in one way. I'm gonna wiggle that back and forth until it slides. Keep an eye, make sure that those ribbons don't get crimped and just keep feeding it in there. Now, see it started getting crimped there at the end. Make sure it's nice and tight. You know, you don't want that to get you don't want that to get crimped. Make sure that's in there. All right, we're going to take our last two screws. Uh oh, that was a cascade of planes here. Put my hand underneath here to support it. Remember, this is metal into metal, so you can crank down a little bit on it. You've got that cavity. You can open that up. And that is your last screw. You do not get any extra screws. Okay. Okay, if that's not perfectly lined up, you can kind of put your body against there and get that to line up. Now, that's perfect. Like I say, yeah, that's got a very definite bottoming out point. Now, basically, we're almost done. Okay, we've got a couple more things to do. Put on your nose cone. Okay, make sure you get all your wires nice and out of the way. Pick up my plane there, and my cougar decided to lay down. That put your that on there. Now the last step are going to be these wing vanes. Now they have a little key point on there, so you should be able just to. Yeah, let me show you why that is. If you look at the underside of these wings, you see, see right there, see that open that section there. That's that key point. It's going to be a vein is going to ride up over that. So let's go ahead 
and dry fit these first. Okay, the this where it's angled, this is the bottom, this is the top. So it's going to just kind of fit on there like that. Should line up. You've got these little channels that that rides into. And it should, and it does, pops right into place. Okay, you can see that pops into place. Okay, so now that I know how that works, I'm going to pull up on it gently. Let me pick this, bother me. Let me pick this plane up here. That, uh, now all my planes are falling. Everybody just stand up, okay? Yes. Open. Yes, I talk to my planes like they're children. They're, they're <laughs> for intents and purposes, they kind of are. All right, I'm going to put a little bead of glue actually in that channel on, the, on, on this side here. Okay, flip the plane over. I work kind of quickly because I do have this little bead of glue there. And this channel here, I'm going to run a little bit of glue in there, okay? Then I'm going to take that, that, that uh, kind of fish it up on there, like that, okay? Make sure it fits down in there like it's supposed to be. Clean my finger, get my finger clean up the glue. All right. Make sure that's nice and seated in that channel, and you'll be in good shape. Do the same thing over here. A little, little bit of glue. On this side, I'll just go ahead and put it on, actually on it. On this side. You're gonna run your finger over that to clean that up. And they're gonna fit in one way. It's down in that channel good. That is like the best glue in the world. I love this Chinese glue. I really, really do. All right, we'll let that set up. Okay, that's the little veins on there. And that, folks, is the basic build of the, the basic assembly, because it's not, definitely not a build, it's an assembly of uh, the Free Wing Avanti version 2. All right, well, that's the uh, build, we'll, or the assembly. <laughs> I keep saying build because it's just shorter. Uh, a build is whenever you actually have to cut and measure and, and fabricate and put something together, like your balsa planes and that. To me, the, these foam planes are just assemblies, just throwing the parts together. But uh, there you go, folks, that's the assembly of the Avanti. Uh, from free wing version two can't wait to get a maiden um, but we'll do the next video on this will be the radio setup thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe god bless y'all and don't forget faith family and friends the jets bye, -bye.